We're at the uh, Rock Hound State Park Visitor's Center. Yeah, we're going to go in because I want to see what kind of awesome rocks we're going to be able to find uh, on the trail here. So I'm going to have Bob film it so I know exactly what's what. Yeah, hi ladies. I'm going to have him film it so that we're not. <laughs> All right. Find the riches. We got to what I got, right? Well, I said I got to go take pictures because I have no clue. Yeah. See, these cups are very popular. These are pretty cool. Everywhere. You want to find some thunder eggs. So, that are the geodes. Those look pretty cool. Wow, well, actually, three or four of us said. And those would be these guys, right? No, you don't have to find the eggs. Let's go on the little trail that they have. It's only half a mile. It goes from the visitor center to the campground and from the campground to here. Uh, so, you just over here. Oh, good. Here's our trail. It's not very long. It is going to be warm today. Yeah, just a half a mile. And, uh, but we'll have to stop along because I may have to find some beautiful rocks. Although, 15 pound is the limit. I don't think we're going to take that much because we watch our gross vehicle weight on the camper or our motorhome. Anyway, Rocky's in the motorhome because it's a little hot. He's in the air conditioning. So uh, let's go, babe. You go first. Hey, the desert really has its own beauty, though, doesn't it? It does. Uh, and uh, for us, of course, leaving Colorado where it's already cold and snowing, um, when you're having temps in the right around 50 degrees at night and those kind of temps during the day, we got to extend our summer some, and it's pretty nice. Well, there's that road that we went up to, that steep grade, and uh, yeah. that's another state park, Spring Canyon, I believe it's called, and it just has a picnic area, but it's really pretty. Yeah, I guess it's a, a birding area, and uh, people like to... Um, Watch the goats over there. Yeah, the goats that live over there. I don't think I'm going to find rocks right on the path, so when we get a little bit further out, i kind of look to the sides. I just love these kind of cactuses that they have here. Yeah, they're really pretty too when they're blooming in the springtime. And we got the prickly pears. And that they are. <laughs> I tend poor. to stay away from them. They hurt. Poor Rocky found out the other day. Yeah, he had um I don't know which one it came from, but he had these little red cactus thorns on the end of his nose. And not just one or two, he must have had about 20. Yeah, and we watched him really close, so yeah. he must have just walked by and sniffed something while we looked the other way or something. Yeah, he's a, a, a Hawaii and a local, eh, boy. a local boy from Hawaii. and. Doesn't know any cactus. Doesn't and been in the mountains, so he doesn't know cactus like the desert. So now this is one of the trails for the rock um, finding, but then there's another trail behind the campground, which is nice. We've done that. Also an early morning or late afternoon trail, but at that area you're not allowed to get a rock. I don't know exactly why, but. And yeah, we did meet some people that camped here for a weekend from Las Cruces. Well, that was the reason why they came here was to go out and find some rocks, and it looks like they did. And they were gonna go home and polish them, polish them up, and cut them open, I guess. They said 25 years ago when they came, they found some real gems here. They said this time around, not as many. Well, so far, I enjoyed my stay here even though Deming is a kind of like a smaller town and it doesn't look like there's a lot but there's actually a lot to explore around it if you have a tow vehicle or a smaller van or truck or motorcycle yeah if not you can from here there's several state parks you can go and put your uh, RV and explore from there. You got Pancho Villa, you got the City of Rocks, 
in the Gila. National Forest, yeah. yeah. Great places to visit or to camp. Well, hello. You find any cool ones? Oh, yeah. All right. A lot of little black stones here. Yeah, let's see. Almost yeah. looks like Epsinian, you know, that you could make arrowheads from. Larger piece right there, Sid. Let's see. Take a better look at it. I don't think they yeah. have obsidian here, but. That's pretty cool. Let's look at our cheat sheet. Yeah, I guess you're not allowed to bring any um, large tools here, like pickaxes, you know, wheelbarrows. Yeah, no longer than 12 inches in length, they said. I would say in the wash, when rain comes down, you'll find stuff. Looks like hmm. it was kind of like a thunder egg. If you polish it, it would be nice. See, going in. Oh, I see something cool over here. Ouch. Ouch. Attacked by a cactus instead of a rattlesnake. Well, I got a few cute rocks. Hey, onwards. Ah. Uh. Am I red yet? Just a little bit. It's hot. I guess to find riches, you have to endure all kinds of weather. Well, now we're up here and you can see our campground where we're at. Well, it wasn't a very long hike, but you know, every half mile or mile that you walk would be good for you, and heaven knows uh, I need it. Over here, though, it's not so much about a half mile hike. It's about exploring and finding cool little rocks. Some of them are priceless, maybe, but some of them are just fun to make some art with, you know, along the road, so. Okay. And this is the one that actually runs up and around. Okay, so you can catch both of them from right here. So it's 1.1 mile. Okay, so if you're a treasure hunter, then uh, this may be one of a fun place to go, especially for kids finding rocks. You may want to bring a little pick hammer so you can see what's inside some of them. But, um, Definitely a fun thing to do while you're staying at this campground. All right, I think we're gonna go check on Rocky and have us some water. <laughs> really yep. need some. This is the campsite we're staying at. Give you a quick peek of a view. Pretty large site here, picnic table with a nice little sun shelter. 
above it then nice long pretty level side all the sides here are really nice and big and level and got great views we uh, sighted what we thought was a UFO there last night and it's been there every day and then uh, it's pretty good size. I mean, there are people around you, but it's not too bad. And then over here, in that nice building over there, are some very clean showers and very clean bathrooms. So they provide you with water and electricity. Now there is no sewer dump at each side, which I actually prefer so you don't have the smells from people around you, but there is a um, dump site and clean out right here at the park that you can use when you're here. So they got pretty much everything you need and your own trash can on each side. So what are we paying for all this? Well, for water, electricity, trash, level side, Nice views. We are paying $14 a night. 14 day max stay, but it is really nice and inexpensive. Great stop along the I-10. Definitely recommend it. We are in New Mexico, and it is known for UFOs and cow mutilations. So you guys tell us. What is this? Is it a UFO? It's pretty stationary. 